What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, Melanated family? This is your boy Harrison from MelanatedFathers.com, Melanated Fathers TV. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to another episode of Melanated Mondays. Every Monday, uh, every Monday I'll bring a new topic that we're dealing with in our in our community, in our homes, in our relationships. Um, it could just be some shit going on in, in society I feel like talking about, but I think you know, with everything going on um, on social media and all the images and everything we are bombarded with, I think it's important that we try to speak truth to power, man. That in in the midst of having fun, in the midst of entertaining ourselves, in the midst of, you know, feeling good about ourselves, we got to sprinkle some of that with some truth. Sprinkle some of that with some knowledge. Sprinkle some of that with, you know, just shit that we need to think about. Like in-depth thought is definitely necessary in this day and age with everything, like I said, with everything we're bombarded with, sometimes you don't know if it's a truth or a lie, you feel me? So it's important that we use critical thinking to kind of break down what we going on in society. So look, today's show, and also please go to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Somebody fucking hacked my last YouTube channel, so I lost my channel and all my subscribers I had, I was going through some shit with YouTube, but ultimately I had to start over. So please go to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can keep everything popping. Now look, the title of the show today is What the Fuck is Homophobia? And this is why I say that, right? Looking at how everything has been transpiring in society over the past few years, if you look at, um, you know, it's rare these days that I cut on a TV show and I don't see somebody gay or I don't see a gay relationship. It's like some some shows, it's, it seems as if they're forcing the shit in there. You know what I'm saying? It's not even comfortable transitions. It's, it's, it's some real weird shit. And it's not just TV shows I watch. This is um, TV shows my kids watch. Like it's hard to even go somewhere and not see a gay reference. Certain applications and shit got gay references on it now. I mean, when you look at all of that, being a black man in society, and keep it in mind, I have nothing against gay people. There's nothing wrong with somebody being gay, fucking who you want, none of that. I don't have a problem with any of that. But what I do have a problem with, being a black man in society, um, understanding how propaganda works, I don't really think anything in society i don't think any any facet of our society or government shows us things over and over again um without there being a purpose you feel me so even even when you look at how you're attacked when you mention not liking a gay person or or uh, uh making a joke about somebody gay look at look at Dave Chappelle's recent stand-up and all he done was logically and clearly state his discomfort with shit. He made some really good points. They attacked the brother for that. Kevin Hart made a, 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 a joke about his son being gay. I think it was some shit like that. That was several years ago. They don't let that brother leave. They don't let that brother live that down. That brother is in the hospital with a fucked up back. I'm reading an article where they're referencing his homophobic remarks. What the fuck is that? I remember some years back, just things that are popping in my memory. I remember some years back, Genuine was on a show with a transgender woman, man, whatever. He was on a show and he basically said he wouldn't kiss a transgender. He wouldn't be in a relationship with a, chan with a transgender person, which is his fucking preference. And he got killed for that shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost, I say propaganda because it's almost like they're taking shit out of context on purpose you feel me and if you do it on purpose what's the real what's the real reason what's really behind this shit and none of it really being gay or being lesbian on a simple level i can kind of understand it um but when you think about shit deeply and how they present shit to us it just don't make no sense when you look up the word homophobia right homophobia means that you're showing dislike or prejudice against someone that's homosexual. That's basically what it, uh, what it means. But I take that title as being bullshit because look at the words. The words in homophobic, homo just means man or homosexual. Phobia means you're scared of something. Means you're scared of something. Who the fuck is scared of gay people? You see what I'm saying? Who the fuck is... And being black in this society, being a black man in this society, 
I got to speak up on this shit. Like, I, I take offense to black men being labeled homophobic and all this shit. You know how many gay people we got in our family? You know how many gay people that's in the goddamn church? And we in black society frequents church more than any other people. You know how many motherfuckers we got in church that's gay that we've been knowing about? You know how many times we hide the goddamn molester in the family? We don't we don't bring it to the forefront that he was fucking with somebody booty. You see what I'm saying? We don't got no problem with gay people. I think society as a whole, not black, not white, not nothing. Society as a whole has a, some people have a discomfort for gay relationships, but that's their goddamn choice. They should be able to choose uh, what they want to see, what they want to expose their kids to. And then when you tell me, okay, now I'm going to start teaching about homosexual relationships to your children, I'm like, okay, what the fuck is going on, man? Come on, man. What is y'all trying to do, man? Y'all ain't even came out and said, we're going to make it a point on a weekly, monthly 